displacement reaction. The chemical reactions in which a more reactive element displaces a less reactive element from a compound is known as displacement reactions. Displacement reactions are also known as substitution reaction or single displacement reactions. A general displacement reaction can be represented as follows. A plus BC converted to AC plus B. Displacement reaction takes place only when A is more reactive than B. If B is more reactive than A, then A will not displace C from BC, and reaction will not be taking place. Let's try an activity for better understating. Take three iron nails and clean them by rubbing with sandpaper. Take two test tubes marked as A and B. In each test tube, take about 10 ml copper sulfate solution. Tie two iron nails with a thread and immerse them carefully in the copper sulfate solution in test tube A for about 20 minutes. Keep one iron nail aside for comparison. After 20 minutes, take out the iron nails from the copper sulfate solution. Compare the intensity of the copper sulfate solutions in test tubes A with B. Also, compare the color of the iron nails dipped in the copper sulfate solution with the one kept aside. Why does the iron nail become brownish in color? And why the blue color of copper sulfate solution fades? The following chemical reaction takes place in this activity. In this reaction, iron has displaced or removed another element, copper, from copper sulfate solution. Some more examples are here. When zinc reacts with hydrochloric acid, it gives hydrogen gas and zinc chloride. When zinc reacts with copper sulfate, it forms zinc sulfate and copper metal. Double displacement reaction. A reactions in which ions are exchanged between two reactants forming new compounds are called double displacement reactions. A general decomposition reaction can be represented as follows. AB plus CD formed AC plus BD. Let's try an activity. Take about 3 ml of sodium sulfate solution in a test tube. In another test tube, take about 3 ml of barium chloride solution. Mix the two solutions. What do you observe? You will observe that a white substance, which is insoluble in water, is formed. This insoluble substance formed is known as a precipitate. Any reaction that produces a precipitate can be called a precipitation reaction. In this reaction, when sodium sulfate reacts with barium chloride, barium sulfate and sodium chloride are formed. When sodium hydroxide reacts with hydrochloric acid, sodium chloride and water are formed. The double displacement reaction, in which an acid reacts with a base, to form salt and water, by an exchange of ions is called neutralization reaction. Oxidation and reduction reactions the chemical reactions which involve the transfer of electrons from one chemical substance to another. These electron transfer reactions are termed as oxidation-reduction reactions or redox reactions. Let's do an activity. Heat a china dish containing about 1 gram copper powder. You will observe that the surface of copper powder becomes coated with black substance. Why has this black substance formed? This is because oxygen is added to copper and copper oxide is formed. If hydrogen gas is passed over this heated material, the black coating on the surface turns brown as the reverse reaction takes place and copper is obtained. If a substance gains oxygen during a reaction, it is said to be oxidized. If a substance loses oxygen during a reaction, it is said to be reduced. Thanks for watching.